Many of us have a wallet full of cards, credit, debit, or membership cards. How about keeping up with all of that information by having a microchip inside your skin? 4,000 Swedes have replaced one or more of their cards with a microchip. The chip is about the size of one of the legs on a normal plug, and you can choose where you want that chip to be. That's not something I don't think I would partake in. Uh-huh. So, becoming mainstream. This brings it, okay, here's a picture. My next article here, MIT Technology Review. They show the microchip. Looks like a little bit bigger than a grain of rice, of course, and they, they locate it between the thumb and the forefinger. Last August, 50 employees at the three market, market, uh, three square market got RFID chips in their hand. Now 80 have them. When Patrick McMullen wants a Diet Dr. Pepper while he's at work, he pays for it with the wave of his hand McMullen has a microchip implanted between his thumb and forefinger, and the vending machine immediately deducts money from his account. At his office, he's one of dozens of employees who have been doing likewise for a year now. Last August, he's become one of roughly 50 employees at its headquarters in River Falls, Wisconsin. That's pretty close to home here, folks, who volunteered to have a chip injected in their hand. The idea came about in early 2017 in Sweden, where some people are getting subconscious micro I can't even say that word where people are getting microchips to do things like enter secure buildings or book train tickets chips are about the size of a very large grain of rice that are intended to make it a little easier to do things like get into the office log on computers or buy foods and drinks in the company cafeteria a year into the experiments they say they are still using chips regularly since then an additional 30 employees so now that's 80 of the company's now 250 employees, just to uh, just two of the three square market employees have had their chips removed, and that was when they left the company. Sam Beggingston, a software engineer, says he used he uses the his chip 10 to 15 times a day. Right. Uh huh. Total control, folks. And then it also says they're talking about microchips outside the body that will verify when the doctors wash their hands. So now it's only it's still talking about keeping an eye on you. What are you doing? Are you washing your hands? Oh, you only wash your hands twice today. And that's not enough. Tracking you for every every little thing you do. So uh, total control, and that's what they want. Uh, Aaron Russo, if anybody knows him, he's deceased now, but he did an interview with Alex Jones. This was in 2006. And he's, he's made America from Freedom to Fascism. Very good movie. He talks about this. He's had a uh, meeting with Nick Rockefeller talking about how he wants to ch get everybody chipped. And he told, foretold them about 9-11, how pe there was going to be people going in caves looking for these people. And Aaron was like, yeah, right, that's not going to happen. Then 9-11 happened. He didn't know that. He didn't come out and say that a plane was going to hit a building. But that all occurred. And now here's Aaron Russo talking about that uh, Nick Rockefeller wanting everybody to get shipped. So let's play that clip. The ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one-world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has exactly. an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be. Um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. That's and right. So, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what everything. you're doing, what Everything, you everything is in there.
total control. They know exactly what you're doing. He makes a good point that they can deduct whatever they want from there. And I'm real quick. I we got a caller. I'm gonna come to you in a minute here. Uh, somebody mentioned in the chat, child seventy three twenty eight in the chat says, "No need to steal your wallet. Just Mortal Kombat your hand off." Excellent point. Because this, you get to my next point. I want to make these RFID chips. They work regardless. You could cut somebody's hand off and use it. Guess what? Apple Watch. This comes off your wrist. It's no good until you put the password in. Why not just use the Apple Watch? I can take it off at will. I can buy it. When I was down in Sedona, I could buy. Um, I went up to the vending machine. They got those NFC, near field communication. Got to buy water, chips, whatever you want out of the vending machine. Very easy. And it's a one-time number, so they're not getting your, your, uh, your credit card number. So it's, why do we even need this? This is the solution right here. And then people with their cell phones, they can, same thing, use Apple Pay on there. The, it's right in front of us, folks. It's just, we got to use it. 